Controversial decision, the Supreme Court voting to overturn Roe v. Wade, leaving abortion rights up to the states. Thanks for joining us for the News at 6. I'm David Custer, live in our Flint studio. And I'm Meg McLeod in our Saginaw studio. TV5's Raven Blue spoke with local leaders from both sides of the debate. My heart is breaking for the millions of patients who are living in states that are cutting off abortion access today and in the days and weeks to come. Planned Parenthood of Michigan is unhappy with the news that came down from Washington Friday. The U.S. Supreme Court overturned the 1973 landmark ruling in Roe v. Wade that recognized the woman's right to an abortion. While the decision did not surprise the group, members say the announcement was still a gut punch. This scenario will now be a daily reality for my colleagues and their patients in hostile states across the country. Here in Michigan, we're still providing care, and I'm working with our team of expert doctors, nurses, and other healthcare professionals to ensure we can provide care to as many patients as possible. And we will never stop fighting to protect abortion access. But for those on the other side of the battle, the ruling by the court's conservative majority is a long-awaited victory. We knew with the draft that this was possible and this is even better. We got a 6-3 uh, opinion. So we we're very, very excited about this. It's, it's long overdue. Right to Life of Michigan says the decision on abortion laws belongs with the states. In 1973, abortion was a, a state decision. It was left to the states. And most states, the vast majority of states, had protections in place for the unborn child. And then seven unelected justices in black robes decided to foist this uh, abortion regime on all states. Although Michigan has a 1931 law that outlaws abortion, that law is facing a legal challenge. So for the moment, at least, reproductive health care remains available in Michigan. Raven Blue, WNEM TV5. Now, Michigan is one of the states that has a trigger law that would ban abortion. However, that law will not be going into effect. In 1931, the state made it a felony to have an abortion and a misdemeanor for anyone who helped anyone get an abortion. But in April, Michigan Planned Parenthood filed a lawsuit seeking immediate court order restraining Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel from enforcing a ban against abortion providers. A Michigan Court of Claims judge sided with Planned Parenthood, thereby temporarily blocking Michigan's 1931 law from being enforced, making abortion legal and available to individuals statewide. However, it's only temporary. Lawmakers are expected to challenge the judge's ruling, but Governor Gretchen Whitmer said she will strike down any legislation seeking to ban abortion in the state. Reaction to today's Supreme Court ruling is mostly split along party lines. Republican lawmakers and the party as a whole are celebrating. The Michigan Republican Party sent a statement saying the opinion is a huge win for life and state rights. Democratic Governor Gretchen Whitmer says the decision is disappointing and today is a sad day for Americans. Senator Debbie Stabenow, also a Democrat, echoed that statement saying she feels angry and it puts many women's lives at risk risk. And Democratic Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel reiterated she will not enforce the 1931 law restricting abortion. Democratic Congressman Dan Kildee said the decision is a step in the wrong direction. What we've seen is 50 years of freedom taken away, the loss of freedom that has existed for a long time, freedom over repro reproductive choices, uh, freedoms that are generally reserved to individuals and their doctors has been taken. Reactions were mixed outside the Supreme Court after the announcement was made. Many against Roe cheered while those who supported the law dreaded the decision by the Supreme Court. This decision is an outrage. It's illegitimate. Abortion bans are illegitimate. Forced motherhood is illegitimate. And I'm so glad that the justices actually established the, like, the justice and the rule of law in this land and that so many millions of lives will be saved by this decision. Most Americans say they want abortion to be legal in their state. A CBS News poll from May shows 65 percent of Americans did not want Roe v. Wade overturned, while 35 percent said they were in favor of the Supreme Court's decision. Those who support Roe said the overturning of the law would be a danger to women and a threat to rights more generally. New details now about the Flint River spill. 